Why are your eyes shut so tight, Carter? Put that in your pocket. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can't get you off my mind. Ooh, girl. All right, so we're here to talk about attraction. How do you keep the attraction in your household? Not in your household. Well, in your marriage, right? So we got married, you were 22, I was 23, I think. 33, no. I'll be 33 in October. You were 22, huh? I was 21. She's 21. Mm. All right, so as we get older, we gain weight. We look different. Mm. I was 225 in high school, I'm now 260. I was 135. Yeah, so. I ain't gonna tell you how much I weigh now. So the thing is, is how do you keep the attraction in your household or in your marriage? We have a couple tips. You wanna give tip number one? What's your, what would you do? Or what, what do you keep, how you keep your attraction? This dog is biting my toes. She's gone. Okay. How do you keep your attraction? For you? Yeah, yeah. What's one thing you do? We'll, lay, we'll list these out. Well, one thing I do is I try to pay attention to what he likes. Um, actually, I take that back. I pay attention to what he doesn't like, and I don't do what he doesn't like. So, smells, certain lips, lip gloss. He doesn't like lip gloss. I don't oh. do that stuff when I'm with him. Okay. All right, so one thing I do is I try to throw different things out once a month, like edible arrangements, flowers, something something different. But then I end up continuing to get the edible arrangements. And yeah. Which I still like. Yeah, so spontaneous once a month thing. And then we go to lunch once a week. So when you go to lunch, we don't talk about the kids, don't talk about work, but it still comes up. So. But we try not to. And then if we do, we stop it short. Yeah. We try to change the subject. Yeah. What's another one? Well, something that I'm trying to do now that I just started doing is trying to make sure we go places. Um, travel is real big for him. And, you know, we haven't went to California or nothing like that, but I try to make sure we at least do something three hours away. Okay. Yes. Travel. Um, hmm. Oh, wear or do something, wear clothing, mm -hmm. undergarments, mm. something that the other person likes at least once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's keep the, that keeps the attraction as well. Yes, because some of those things you might not like, but if they like it, you know where. But you don't really pay attention to it. Like in a routine, like mm -hmm. marriage, you're in a routine. Then you have kids, and you get another routine. You have another kid, get another routine. Mm. So it's, it's things that you did before you had kids that you don't do now. Man, man, let me tell you. Things that you did before you got married that you don't do now. And I think this conversation or this topic is more so once you have kids, whether you're married or not. Once you have kids, things just fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. You you're not doing all that extra no more. You're not wearing that. You're not trying to buy that. You're not trying to go there or do that or nothing. Cause no. you're tired. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you got two. <laughs> That's all the tips I have. That's it. I think um, just be mindful. Just be mindful. You. It's very easy to get stagnant, especially after years and years and years. And you just have to put forth the effort. Just like anything else in a relationship, you have to put forth the effort. Yeah. And disclaimer, this is between us. This is what we do. We were talking to Courtney's cousin about having somebody else on the show. Was this a show? Series? I don't know what this is. But having a baby boomer or somebody in the older generation talk about what they do or how they adjust. Like she was talking about cooking meals and serving plates and how like I don't serve I don't serve her plate she doesn't serve me a plate when we're eating unless we want to mm -hmm. I mean it's, it's all about want but 
other generations, they were taught, hey, you serve your man a plate. And I'm like, no, I'm good. On a glass plate. I don't need that. Paper, plastic, and I'll fix it. I'll cook. I'll, I'll cook. cook too. Not as much, but I'll cook. Mm -hmm. I have macaroni and cheese. Chicken bacon, chicken bacon ranch casserole. No bacon. But I don't know if I can do this. Chloe, you might not be eating tonight. Mine's still bad. Whatever. This is over. <laughs> I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but act like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body, another one body, that's just how it go. I got some secrets, I'm saying. Hey, get this pen, girl. Right here. Right here. Come on, the pen. Get the pen. Get the paint. This, this paint. This paint. You need this paint. This paint. All right, let's go. Close the, close the cabinet. Close it. Making the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane, I to stay on the go. I can to play with the pros and act like a rookie, so they overlook me. They're not double up again, none of their nose. None of them cold. They just got lucky but never adapted. So I'm to the one if it's coming to blows. My enemies cutting it close. I let them think that they got me, but what? I think I was supposed to do wait for the water to warm up. Was I supposed to wait for the water to get hot? You know, I had them beat before we ever spoke. I'm ready for smoke. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now they ain't go harder than me. They need a blade and a sheath, a shank and a piece, a crate full of heat, an army of fleet, a tank and a jeep, a navy at sea, where they a marine, an ace up their sleeve, a team of marines, a freak on a leash, a beast with an appetite, razor for teeth, and still they will lay at my feet. Boy, you got the wrong one. I gotta look over all of my publishing statements for Q1 as soon as the song's done. I gotta call up my mama and tell her I made it as soon as my love. Oh no. Courtney's home. Oh, jeez. Shut your mouth. Thanks for cooking, Daddy. Pure jackass. Y'all ready to eat? It looks, looks amazing. You're a liar. Are you going to record me eating? Your first bite. Why do you have to be so weird? Dang, you need to change careers. I'm not eating until you turn that camera off. What you think, Court? It's very good. Cause I'm a beast. That's why I'm a beast. How is it, Carter? Mmm. -mm. Must be good. Or pets too is on TV. Whoa, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but act like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything.